today is May 29th, and I am in my uh, mulch tote that I created uh, a few weeks ago. I went through the woods and collected old, you know, and collected rotting tree debris and brought back and put into this tote here. And I put it underneath the eaves here so it could get rained on. And uh, I added some fish hydrolysate that I made. And I added some lactobacillus, or lactobacillus, and uh, let it sit in here for two or three weeks, three weeks probably, maybe even more, about three weeks, I guess. And hopefully, between the nutrients added that this mulch absorbed some of them. So when I mulch my garden plants with this stuff, the goal is that uh, as it rains or as I water or need to water or whatever, that the nutrients will slowly filter in around my plants and fertilize them. And I also did the same thing with the cardboard. I like to wet cardboard before I use it. So I just use the same tote. And the tote keeps all the nutrients and all the good stuff. And so does the cardboard. So when I mulch with the cardboard underneath, not mulch, but if I... So, and I put the cardboard around uh, the start of my compost piles. It only, not only collects the nutrients from the composting debris and absorbs into the cardboard, uh, there's micronutrients in here as well, microorganisms, that also help feed the compost pile through the wet cardboard. So that's my goal. My goal, my goal. And then eventually... All this compost material will be in the garden, and one thing will feed the other, and feed the other, and feed the other. Now you'll see little foamy stuff. I also added a little yeast. I grow natural yeast, and there's some already in here from the mulch as well. So there's more nutrients in my garden, and uh, this yeast will help benefit the microorganisms. Microorganisms will help feed the yeast and they help feed the plants and help feed the soil and help feed us eventually. So that's the goal. Long process, but a natural one. Okay, I'm back here at the uh, at the mulch, nutri uh, nutrient filled mulch, and I am on my second little cart right there. And I am still scooping. And some of this will go into a new compost pile because this is filled with nutrients and microorganisms. It's going to help the compost piles and my garden. And you can see this paper in there because I threw a, uh, a couple sheets of paper in there as well because it's still a brown material. And basically what I've made here, although it looks gross and whatever, but basically all it is is wood microorganisms, a little bit of yeast, and uh, fish hydrolysate. So this is an excellent, excellent compost tea, if you will. Filled with a liquid fertilizer is what it is. And uh, I'm loving it. That's going to be so excellent for the garden. The plants are going to love it, love it, love it. Okay, I know what some of you must be thinking that why, if I'm so allergic to mosquitoes or a certain type of mosquito that puts me in the hospital, why do I keep pools or totes of water um, in the camp yard? And I can do that because we use what we call mosquito dunks. And what this does, it only attacks, if I can, they're hard to break, it only attacks mosquito larvae. And each one of these, 
If I can break one. Oh, I'm going to stop this, I guess. Okay, I've broken one in half. And this, each mosquito dunk will treat an area up to 100 square feet. So I usually go a little bit overboard and just break a half, break one in half for a large tote like this. And I'll simply just toss it in. And what that does, it will, it will release uh, an agent that attacks uh, mosquito larvae. So it will not allow them to hatch. And this works very, very well for us here. And uh, they're very pricey. But uh, it's a long-term use, and because I'm always changing out this water, I like to put one in every few weeks, or part of one in every few weeks, and that prevents the mosquitoes from um, trying to lay eggs and the, the larvae hatching into a new batch of mosquitoes. But how I know this works, one, I don't see mosquitoes, two, I don't see their larvae, and three, the frogs um, don't come near this right here because there's no food source, no food source for them. So they stay away as well. And I kind of like the frogs, but, uh, I'd rather not have the mosquitoes. And although these are quite pricey in a package of, I don't know how they come, 20 maybe, 20 in a package, 30, 25, I don't know. But, uh, they may be pricey, but it's pricier to have an emergency room visit and the treatments um, that come with it. So, pennies, pennies to a dollar, pennies, pennies to a dollar. I'll take it every day.